G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Just out for another land based session. I've got a couple of hours. It's like uh, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 3 hours maybe. Um, to chase some flathead. Coming off the back end of the super moon. So it's like massive highs, three and a half meter highs, 0.3 lows, like heaps of water movement between tides. Massive variance. Uh, it's got the confidence baits on. Three inch gulf shrimp, two inch gulf shrimp. Got a new lose speed stick combo there to try out. A couple of lose reels, 10 pound braid, 12 pound leaders, quarter ounce heads. Yeah, it's got a bit of coffee rock in front of me here. I'm gonna fish that first, I'm gonna power up this creek. It's pretty low, I should be able to get a fair way up. But yeah, I've got about 50 minutes before that tide turns, and once it turns, it's gonna come in hard, so. Powering down here, power fishing it, it's going fast. Fish as quick as I can, hopefully get a few fish. No B-roll, none of that fancy bloody editing type stuff. We're just gonna get straight into it, so here we go. Yeah, massive low tide, so a bit of discolored water coming down from the top of the system. It's got a little bit of coffee rock area here in front of me. Heap of current coming over it. Chance of a fish. Start off with that three inch gulp. Just on that KBD 200. Seven foot six, eight to 15 pound loose speed stick. It's like a flat rod, long cast. And let's get that bait out there. Hopefully get some fish. The sun's got some sting to it, but that water has got some bite to it. Just fan on my cast. Cover a bit of new ground each cast. I'll throw a loop knot or a wind knot then. I just want to get up this system, man. I still haven't gone up as far as I reckon I can get on a low tide, but don't think I've got enough time to do it today. A little bit of an onshore breeze. Not too bad. See all this coffee rock I'm walking over. It's prime broken ground, ambush type stuff for flathead. Oh, stingray man. And he stood right on that dude. So we are legit power fishing. Just and charge up this creek. Fair way, really. It's about a K and a half to where I want to get. I might go with the smaller bait. Throw it over against these mangroves and on this drop off. Now six this new speed stick, seven foot, four to ten pound. Such a nice feeling rod. We'll see how it fishes. It's a nice little bit of deep water, runs along that deep bank and there's a little ledge runs straight up along this sort of line I'm heading on. Probably slow down a bit now, I'm up to a zone I like. I want to get around this next corner. I haven't got that far yet, and there's some nice looking flats and pools up that way. Such a shallow system, this, eh? Crazy how much of you can just walk on a low tide. All the boats get up in here, they get here on a making tide. As soon as it turns, within an hour or two, they're out of here. You pretty much get the whole place to yourself. Surprised I can't even see any flathead lies on this drop off. Normally there's a few littered along here. There we go, that looks like my first flathead lie. Little flathead lie down here. Only a little fish, but sitting where he's supposed to. 
That sun's dropping quick, man. Give me some fish. It's definitely a lot dirtier than it has been in the past. Even the smaller bait, no, isn't getting any attention. One thing I don't like is the fact that that moon is below. Coming off the back of the super moon, full moon phase. Moon's setting at about eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, oh, you're kidding. That was a fish. Damn it. Yeah, so no moon above. I do like moon above. Ah, you kidding, aren't ya? It's on the smaller bait too. Like, how do you not get that in your mouth? Here we go. Flathead. Well, he's all right. He's not a bad flathead. On the little bait. Little two inch shrimp. Oh, he's rubbing up on that. Got a fish on. On the new loose speed stick. At seven foot, four to 10. Oh, hey, mate. Just that loose CI 200 custom inshore reel. 10 pound braid, 12 pound leader. Now we just got to gently coax him over to that sand flat. Taking my pet fish for a walk, you know. Just got him on a short leash. Where do you go, pros, man? I seriously, I've had two sevens pretty much give up on me in the last couple of sessions. I'm down to one. They just wigged out in the landing. Oh, this flathead. We got one. We got a fish. I hold it up. I don't know what camera's going to film, but. Let's use his phone, I guess. You wouldn't read about it, man. There we go, we got a fish. Nice flathead. Better than the little guys kicking around, but say that two inch Berkeley Gulf shrimp, quarter ounce head. I'll take that. That's one. Got about an hour left of sunlight. See if we can't get a couple more. It's on that little bait, a little tiny shrimp. Yeah, we got one. Seriously, GoPros, man. They'll be the death of me. I still want to give me a couple. I made life a lot easier. Right, let's get another fish. A bit of leader damage. Always check your leader. Quick retie, mate. Saves losing that next fish. Bloody shits me, those GoPros, man. Tags in your pocket. Bloody kidding me, eh? All right, let's do that again. Hopefully this GoPro doesn't wig out. I guess we just go back out. Well, we got that one. Keep on going up. Just tighten that drag back up. Just want that drag tight enough to get a good hook set. Set that hook, figure out what you got, whether or not you have to go hard and get it out of a snag, or if it's a flathead, just back it off. Take your time. Especially the end bait's weighing these flats, like you've got to gently steer that fish back into shore. There's no point trying to horse it. It's on that little bait too, the old jelly bean theory. 
even elephants eat peanuts and you know after you've had a big meal you can always fit a jelly bean in that tide's still running out good old willy weather knows exactly what the tides are doing to the minute not Go. We want more than one fish. Give us a couple more. Get out of here before it's too dark. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow. See that? I had a split second to set that hook and then realize it's a big fish. And I backed that drag off straight away. Damn, that thing took off. You can tell, like, as soon as you set the hook, you're like, oh, that's good weight. And you know it's going to go. It's just back that drag off. You let that fish try and power off on a tight drag, especially if it is a big flathead and does a few head shakes. Even though a 12-pound leader can take a bit. Oh, oh, dude. It can't take much of a big fish going, absolutely. Burko. Dude. GoPro's still on, it's a good thing. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it's a good flathead. Oh, ease up, buddy. Ease up. There's the head shakes. Good fish. You can hear that line in its mouth. That's the problem with that little bait. Big fish gets it deep. It's just chewing on leader the whole time. Oh, don't do that, buddy. That leader is right across its mouth. not going to like coming up into these shallows. Oh. Don't, don't, don't. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's a good fish. Let's get up to this little puddle. Let's get him in this puddle of water. <laughs> That's a good flathead. That's a good one. Take that. All right, GoPro stayed on for the fight. How's that for a fish? That's a good fish. That's an awesome land based fish. Just wading the flats, walking these shallows. Just take that tiny little bait, that two inch gulp shrimp. All right, that's, that's made my session. I'm happy with that. That's two fish. That sun's dipping. Chance of a couple more. 
get this girl back. Go a few more casts. Yes, that's a good fish. I'll pay that. Here we go. How's that? Blooded that new rod in nicely. A new speed stick, seven foot, four to ten. A little gulp on the little tiny jelly bean. Ah, calm down a bit now. Powered up this creek. Yeah, charging, trying to fish fast. Found a nice little stretch, slowed down, started working it. It's paid off. All right, do a quick retie on that leader. Let's get back out there. That was a good fish, man. And that thing ate within like, like realistically, six feet of the rod tip. That was cool. Check your drag, ooh. That's good, man. A couple fish under the belt. Just calm down. Take your time. It's nearly been two weeks since I've had a fish. We had the after trade show on the Gold Coast. Getting everything ready for that. I was working on an edit to have on the display stand and didn't really get a chance to get out for a fish. Good to get back out and bang a couple. Got no idea where that's landing. I'm staring straight into the sun. I know there's a bank there and I know there is a little bit of timber and stuff on the bottom through this stretch. Oh, it's a good feeling. Just got a couple. Slow it down. No need to charge up any further. Cover the water. They are a couple good fish too. Normally I'd expect to get a couple little 40s, you know. Something to bloody keep you entertained. They are good fish. Come on, give me a grunter. Finish it off. Standing in thigh deep water that's discolored on dusk. Hopefully there's no little bullies that get a liking for my legs. Couldn't ask for a nicer afternoon too. Bugger all wind. It's blowing. Where was it coming from? Had to be Easter. It wasn't much, the ocean was a glass out this morning. GoPro's still working, that's a bonus. Still a good 20 minute, half hour walk back. Okay, I'll give me one more, one to finish off. Tell you what, it's getting cool. Standing in cool water, cool breeze blowing up that creek. What do you do? Keep casting and walk out in the dark. Five more minutes. Give it five more minutes. Oh, I'll tell you what, that water gets cool when it's lapping on your, your old fella. Oh, come on. Cut more casts, I'm gonna have to bail. No, gonna have to go. Last cast. Oh, slips off the bloody handle. Here we go, got him. Grunter. Oh. Slightly bigger than the last one, I'm guessing.
That's cool, it's fishy. Yep. Hey, nice grunter. I don't typically have to worry about these guys chewing through leader. How cool does he look, man? He's lit up, striped up to the max. He's a good little grunter, man. That's, that's not a bad fish. I'll pay that. Hey, it's not a bad grunter. Light line, shallow water, man. These things go hard as. That's cool. He's so lit up coming through that water too. Just all barred up. Barred javelin fish or a grunter. You can hear him grunting. That's cool. Again, just on that tiny bait. Little two inch golf shrimp. Probably got fog spots all over that bloody camera. Doing my head in. That's a cool fish. Let's get him back. Let's get out of here. Hey, not a bad session. Not a bad session at all. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. It's been up and down lately. It's just one of those things. But um, yeah, appreciate all you guys clicking on there. And you know, give us the like, do the little thumbs up, give us a comment, share it about, all that stuff. I don't normally harp on with that, but yeah, like I said, it's been a little, a little slow. So any extra love is greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, that was sick. Quick little land base sesh. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, thanks for all the support lately too. You know, flat headline. Lapping on your your old fella. <laughs>